Um, the contact points are usually late and behind them. This relates to positioning. I would say on both the forehand and backhand, you see a lot of tension in the body, in the arms, because of the uh, coach. For some reason, we spend a lot more time teaching the swing than teaching the positioning. And so this is more like a general uh, critique or criticism of American coaching where you, you have a lot of players who they've been taking lots of lessons and they, they, they have bad contact points. They're actually in a bad position related to, relating to the ball and then they're very stiff as they swing. That's a major problem. Uh, and that's something they do very, very well in Spain. One of the things they clean, they clean up the positioning very well in Spain, which is why they have a lot, uh, a lot of good players, even uh, at the lower level, the, at the broad base, the grassroots level, they have a lot of players who play well. Um, and I would say in, in the U.S., like when you, go, when you start, not, not at the high level, but when you start going down to the lower levels, like I mentioned, like JV or high school or lower level tournament players, that, that there's like a huge technical skills drop off. Like it's really bad. You drop off a cliff. And, and part of that is it's the movement, the technique of movement, the, the way the kids move. They don't receive the ball very well. So they spend a lot of time doing, you know, practicing their stroke re reproduction uh, or repetition but they're repeating, they're hitting the ball consistently late or behind them or too high or too low. They're not moving their feet well to receive the ball. And so that creates what I'm talking about. That's part of the problem with tension. It creates a lot of tension in the swing. So it's important to try to teach players to position well, like on the backhand or the forehand, so that they can swing more with more elasticity, more looseness, and and that it will help them generate topspin and, and more effortless power rather than meeting the ball poorly, receiving the ball poorly, and then trying to hit it by forcing it with tension, by forcing it with tightness and with, with, uh, with uh, trying, uh, the word I use sometimes is muscling the ball. Like instead of trying to muscle the ball with bad contact points, you should try to be loose and fast and quick and whippy with the arms and the racket but with the better contact point, which will actually give you more power and better spin if you do that the right way. And just most kids have no clue what I'm talking What I just said is uh, for nine out of 10 kids who, whom I see, it, they, they're clueless to, to this, I, this concept, you know, of moving better, swinging more loosely, uh, and meeting the ball, receiving the ball in a better place in relationship to the body. Like they have no clue what I'm talking about. Uh, and I just think, and I, then I, I say to myself, well, how can this be? Like, how can, how can so many players across the U.S. Be, are being taught that? How can they be taught that way? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't understand it.